Welcome to Speak English Now podcast with your host, Georgiana. The podcast that will help you to speak English fluently with no grammar and no textbooks. Hi, dear students. I'm Georgiana, founder of SpeakEnglishPodcast.com. My mission is to help you to speak English fluently. Speaking English is way easier when you use the right material and techniques. Let's talk again about the repetitive use of the word look. Seriously, you gotta stop using the word look all the time. There are many more words that you can use instead. I will help you to choose the right one depending on the context. Therefore, today, I will continue to enrich your vocabulary and help you to sound more like a native English speaker. And with a point of view story, you will practice your English speaking and you will learn grammar without memorizing any rules. By the way, you can find my podcast everywhere on the internet. If you need to read the transcript, I recommend you to listen to the podcast on my website, speakenglishpodcast.com. But you can also find it on Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, SoundCloud, etc. Just look for Speak English Now with Georgiana and start learning English with me. Okay, let's learn some new words that replace the word look. We'll start with the word to watch. Many students confuse watch with see. So I will take a closer look at the difference between these two terms. Two weeks ago in episode 108, we saw that we use see to express the ability to discern visually. You are aware of your surroundings by using your eyes. We use the term watch when we observe something happening in front of us or on television, for example. However, we don't need to participate in what we see actively. Examples Last night, I watched TV until 2 a.m. As a kid, I always liked to watch a plane take off. My friend Rachel and I watched a movie last night. We continue now with view. For instance, you can view a presentation or a movie. But if we want to be specific, we'll use view mostly when we're looking at something up close and examining it. Examples Before you buy a property, make sure to view it a few times. We're excited to view your summer collection. I normally view situation objectively, especially when it comes to business. Let's continue now with spot. We use the word to spot literally or figuratively. And what happens when you find something? When you find something you were looking for, we can say that you have spotted it. For example, you may spot a stain on a shirt. Examples I know him so well that I could spot him even among a large crowd. I'm not sure if it's easy to spot a cheap imitation. Unfortunately, you failed to spot the error. Another word you could use in order to replace look is stare. Stare is similar to glare, but we don't necessarily use it in a negative situation. For example, when you have a crush on someone, you might spend all day staring at them. And if you have a pet, you might have already noticed how they stare at you whenever they are hungry. Examples Stop staring at me like that. You're making me uncomfortable. We all stared at the beautiful girl next door. If you want to stare at him, at least don't make it so self-evident. Let's continue with the word inspect. 
When you inspect something, you take an active role in examining something. Let's say that you inspect a house before you buy it. You can also inspect your friend's house to get some decorating ideas. Example: You must inspect the vehicle before you purchase it. And the last word for today is gaze. This is another word you can use to replace the word look. We use the word gaze when we are admiring something or someone. When you gaze, you usually look at someone or something for a long time. Examples: Rachel gazed at Tom with admiration as he spoke. Bobby spends hours gazing out the window, waiting for his dad to come home. Cool. Let's continue with a point of view story. You will improve your English grammar without memorizing any rules. I'm going to tell the same story twice, so pay attention to the different grammar points. It's a technique that I use in my courses. You just have to listen and enjoy the story. Let's listen to the story in the present tense. Have you ever heard of Detective Columbo? He is a fictional character and one of the most watched TV shows in the 80s. And what does this homicide detective do on a typical day? Well, every time he gets to a crime scene, He inspects the surroundings from a distance so he can spot anything out of the ordinary. He always views every detail objectively since he deals with complex crime scenes. When he approaches potential suspects, he stares at them directly in the eye while he interrogates them. He meticulously inspects all the evidence in great detail. So he always spots something others might miss out on. Finally, once he gathered all the evidence, he gazes into the sky trying to figure out who the bad guy is. Let's listen one more time the same story in the past tense. Have you ever heard of Detective Colombo? He was a fictional character and one of the most watched TV shows in the 80s. And what did this homicide detective do on a typical day? Well, every time he arrived at a crime scene, he inspected the surroundings from a distance so he could spot anything out of the ordinary. He always viewed every detail objectively since he dealt with complex crime scenes. When he approached potential suspects, he stared at them in the eye while he interrogated them. He meticulously inspected all the evidence in great detail, so he always spotted something others missed out on. Finally, once he gathered all the evidence, he gazed into the sky, trying to figure out who the bad guy was. Okay. This is the end of this point of view story. Have you seen the power of the point of view technique? We have checked a lot of grammar by merely using the same story. It's very easy to compare different structures because you compare them in parallel. If you want to get hours of audio with mini stories and point of view lessons, I'd like to recommend to you my fluency course. You can get it at fluency.speakenglishpodcast.com. Well, that's it for today. Take care. Bye-bye. Did you enjoy today's episode? Get the transcript now at speakenglishpodcast.com. speakenglishpodcast.com.